Hi, my name's Keith Cooper, North Light Images. This uh, short video is about specifically avoiding accidentally installing the AirPrint driver on a Mac. Uh, I'm using the Canon Pro 300 here. Now, uh, I've got videos covering other printers and I include it in almost all my reviews for the last few years, but this still catches people out. It's caught me out on occasions. This is a MacBook Pro. Uh, it's running 15.2 on it. Uh, and I'm going to do the basic install of the driver and show what the problem is. Now, I'm not going to do screenshot. I'll just drop in some screenshots to do it. The real thing to do with this is to make sure you don't accidentally install the AirPrint driver. Now, how do you set up a driver on this? Well, I've downloaded, I've got it from Canon.com co.uk but other Canon sites will provide it. The driver for this, I've downloaded it and it comes down, you download, you click on it and you do an install. Now when you do the install on this, because the security on these modern systems is a lot more, you'll get a few warnings flash up that say this is an old driver etc etc, I give it permissions. Okay, all of those, you'll need to do that. You won't be asked again, but if you don't do it, it can cause problems further down the road. So anyway, I've got the driver installed. Go to the default printers, scanners set up here, and I've got various other printers that I've got installed on this system from testing I've been doing. So I've got ones here, and I'm just going to go to simple. This is, this is what people do, and this is why you, it works out wrong. I'm just going to go add printer scanner fax. It gives me the add printer dialog. Now I can see here it says Canon Pro 1100 series. That's the one that's downstairs. That's the one I've been doing the review of. And we've got uh, Epson ET8550. That's the one I've tested recently. It's now up in Karen's office. But I've got Canon Pro 300 series because that's what I've just installed. Now, printer is switched on. I don't need it for this, but I'm going to set it up with this anyway. I think, right, okay, it's the 300 I want. It says next to it, kind bonjour. Now that's just a networking protocol to make things discoverable on your network. Uh, this one is connected wirelessly, if I remember rightly, test around the back. Yes, this one's connected wirelessly, so is this. They're all on a wireless network here. Um, so I just click on Canon Pro 300 series. And sure enough, uh, it says name Canon Pro 300 series. And underneath that, it says use Canon Pro 300 series. And I think, well, that's pretty easy. All I'll do is just click on add. And I'm going to go through this because this is what people do. And it's added it. And there we go. I've got now on here, it says Canon Pro 300. Now, look at the printer where it's in this list here, and you'll see a little arrow to the side of it. Now, if you click on that arrow, just a single click, a window pops up and it gives you information about the printer driver. It says, here we are, Canon Pro 300, last used, no, no it's, um, but go down the bottom and you will see it says kind. Canon Pro 300 series air print. If you see that word air print appear in any printer driver, ditch it. AirPrint has no use whatsoever. I, yeah, all right, if you want to print from a phone or something like that, but I'm talking about a good quality photo printing workflow, anything with that. AirPrint has no place in it whatsoever. Um, there is no use. AirPrint, by the way, is nothing to do with the fact that I'm connecting wirelessly. It's you know, it just gives that impression, but it's nothing to do with that. Just completely ignore that air print driver. It says driver version four. So if you see driver version four, but particularly if you see the word air print appear anywhere, it's wrong. So I've got at the bottom of this, on the other side, it says remove printer. So we will remove the printer. Am I sure I want it? Yes, it is of no use whatsoever. It's gone from my list. Let's go through it again. Add printer, here's the list I've got. 300 series, yes, that's the one we want to add. I want to add it, so I'll click on it. Now, at the bottom of this, and it comes up, um, any other printers that I've installed, it says use Canon 300 series, Pro 300 series. Now, if I click on that drop down, you will see that the third item down, it says Canon Pro 300 is ticked, then auto select, don't go there, 
Then select software. I'm clicking on select software. A whole load of things come up and I can see that it supports the Dymo label printer. Yeah, well, Dymo label printer is sitting in the drawer down there. So we don't not interested in that and a whole load of other stuff uh, that's there. But at the top of that list, it says Pro 300 series. I can see 1100 as well. So I'm just going to select that where it says printer software. Remember, you may at some point get pop-ups coming up. I've done this on the system before, so not all the pop-ups will appear again. If you get things asking for permission to do stuff, just okay them. Right, Pro 300 series, there we go. And add. Now it's going through the setup again. A little bit longer this time, setting up the device. This is the clue, it's taking a little bit longer. Now, I have got Canon Pro 300. Looks exactly the same as it looked before. Now, if I click on that little arrow, this time I notice at the bottom here, no mention of air print anywhere. It also says driver version 29.1.0.0. That is the one I downloaded from Canon. So I now have the correct printer driver set up on this Mac to print to this printer here. In general, this is the same problem that you get with the 1100. I got with the Epson 8550, the Epson oh, the printers I've tested for a while back. There are different versions of this problem. Now, um, my inclination is just to do one video and say, look, this is the problem. This is how you fix it. But I know that people like to see actual examples of it, not generic things. This is how to connect this particular uh, computer to this particular printer and not using air print. And that is the important bit. But anyway, I do hope that saves somebody some trouble. Um, if you want to check out what I've done more on using printers, I've got very detailed written articles and I've got loads of videos connected with each. I always check, if you want real detail, I always check the written articles because they always contain an updated list of every video that I've done connected with a particular printer. So that's for this, the 300. I will shortly be having a look at the new Pro 310 and I expect that I will find exactly the same issue in terms of connecting things up. Um, Naughty Apple, um, because I, I do believe that Apple could do more to stop this happening if they really wanted to, but they don't care. So whatever. It's, yeah, people will suss it out. And anyway, AirPrint's great. It's an Apple technology. Yeah, anyway, we won't even go there. Hope that's been of use. Thanks for watching. Bye.